Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, back with some coverage for you for CES 2024. So I got to go to a private event with LG and look at some of their newer displays. Now they didn't have everything available, but there was one particular TV that I want to show you. It's called the OLED Signature T. What makes it unique is that you can have a complete transparent experience and see what's behind the TV. The way it's set up is that you can remove the black background anytime you like, but the content has to match the TV to be able to experience it. But it was completely different than anything I've ever seen before with this particular technology. Now, if you want to just watch a movie, you can roll the screen back up and it brings in that inky black level that you expect from OLED. But this TV is unique. It also comes with the wireless transmitter box so you can have everything plugged in across the room and you can have the TV display in it wirelessly, I think up to 30 feet. So this is one of the first TVs I've ever seen like this. Now last year, LG announced this wireless TV. So you had this box that went over into the corner and then it sent over the signal through Wi-Fi over to the TV, which is great. But they did run into a problem with people who had audio system it will not connect some of the eARC functions. So with the new M4, they pretty much fixed that. Now it will support eARC and LG does have a lineup of speakers that works through Wi-Fi. So you can get that WOW Orchestra, which I did film a video on it showing you how it works. But the biggest thing is that now you can get that full audio experience and have that nice TV on the wall. And they did update the processor to the Alpha 11, which is insane for having a processor as fast as this one for LG. And one thing that I want to tell you is that G-Sync works with LG. So now if you have a computer with G-Sync video cards, now you can get that 144 Hertz, which is a great improvement over last year. If you're ready to get a second mortgage on your home, you can buy these TVs. But if you want to save a little bit of money, you can go with the G4, which is still very expensive. It's going to break the bank. But the thing about the G4 is last year, they didn't come with any type of mounts or stands. So you had to buy all that separately. So what they decided to do on this model is that now they're going to include a stand on the smaller sizes. So I do believe it's the 55 and the 65 will have a stand that comes with these televisions. But this TV looks amazing. I was very happy to see this TV live and they did have a C4 there as well. So in a comparison, if you're looking for OLED, I would say go with the C4. But I will say if you want to break the bank, might as well just go all in and get the G4. These TVs will still use the WebOS software, but now they have a new feature called Chatbox where you can ask it different commands. So for example, if you need to increase the brightness, you can just talk to it and pretty much it does it with AI technologies. So they're taking TVs to the next level as far as having interaction with it. Now the last thing I want to show you is another television that they brought there. It's called the QNED 85. This TV is a mini LED, but one thing that they pointed out something is that even though you might have a TV with local dimming zones, this TV has over a million grayscales inside of each zone so you can achieve better black levels. I would say that as far as a overall budget television, I was pretty impressed the fact that it has mini LED with nanotechnology. I do believe this is going to be one of their hottest sellers for this year. So there you have it for LG for 2024. And I didn't go over any specs because at this point they don't really share that information. But I just want to give you a quick rundown of what to expect for 2024 on the higher end for LG. Now will they come out with some basic LED TVs? This we don't know. But I will be filming the full event at CES whenever it's open so I can get some more footage for you. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.